Okay, we're going to go through the process of loading one of Canon's first generation EOS cameras with film. Okay, start by turning the camera to auto and checking the battery. So that's got a good battery, three is good. I start by turning it off, open the door. There's our film plane. The film goes in there, note the orange tab. Okay. This is the first time I've used a roll of Triax, by the way, for about 15 years. Okay, there's your film there. This is the tongue. In this model Canon, the film goes in there. And sits in there. Slide the film across. Till the tab is at the orange mark and make sure that the little sprocket there lines up with the film and then close the back. Now, nothing's happened because it's not turned on. That's telling you it's got film loaded. Now what I want you to do is, when I turn it on the film will load and it will display the ISO there. I want you to check to make sure that the ISO is right. It should be 400. There we go, 400. I say that because these cameras are old and sometimes the, I say that because these cameras are old and sometimes the, um, the DX coding doesn't quite uh, read the film canister correctly. If it hasn't read the film canister correctly, then you can uh, set the film speed manually. I won't do that now because it's all fine. There we go. And we have one. So we are on the first frame. Turn it back to lock. By the way, that's a lock mode and not off. I can tell you it's not off because the dial's still reading there. Um, when you first get your Canon EOS camera, you're probably going to just pick it up and touch the buttons. Here's a tip, every time you touch that button, even when it's on lock, it actually activates all of the circuits. So you can spend a whole day playing with your little camera on lock and actually flatten your battery. So don't play with it too much or have a spare battery. Okay, that's it. We are now ready to go photographing.